Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great day. I just want to show you a little update on Google Slides today in that uh, it's been about out for about a month, but I think it's a great update and that's about inserting non-YouTube videos into uh, your Google Slides and you're just having them in your Google Drive. You can easily insert them and um, add some conditions to them that you want, uh, whether or not you want them to start or not. So real simply, I'm just going to go over to my Google Drive and uh, all you have to do to remember here is, let me just minimize here, I have a video uh, right here off to the side here. And what I'm going to do is uh, go to my Google Drive. And remember, you can just drag over videos and drop them. And then they'll be in your Google Drive. You can also hit the new and then you can do the file upload too. Uh, but if you want to add videos to your Google Drive, just simply uh, drag them over too. Uh, so one thing about this too, once you do have them uploaded, it does take a little bit of time to process them. Not much time. This is just a 21 meg uh, video file that I just uploaded here. Maybe take a few minutes here to uh, process before it could be used. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go over to my Google Slides here. Uh, so actually, I'm going to open up some slides here. I'm just going to go up and open up my Google Slides. And I'm just going to start a blank template just to show you how this uh, how this works here. So if I, I'm just going to hit the blank one here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, insert the video. So I've already put this video in once before just to speed up the process here so I don't have to wait for it to be processed. I'm just going to go up here and go insert here and you can see video. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the video. I have some uh, choices here. I can go by URL, uh, but now we have Google Drive. Once I'm in Google Drive, uh, you can see I have, uh, I can insert, this is in my Google Drive right here. This is the one I've already have. It's already been processed. This one is being processed. So if it, you notice it doesn't show up yet. So I'm gonna use this one. But I can also use ones that from shared with me, if someone has shared a video with me, um, or it will show the recent ones too. So I'm just gonna go to my drive here, click on this one and hit select. And then once it puts it into here, you can position it how you want on your slide. You can resize it. Uh, but now to add some more options to it, just simply right click on it and you can see that there's video options. When you go to video options, uh, you can have a few choices here. You can actually pick a time when you want to start. So maybe you don't want the whole video to be shown on your presentation. You can choose a start time. So if I was going to uh, start at uh, one minute here and I wanted to end at, I'll just say one ten. Maybe there was only a 10 second clip that you wanted to show from a whole video. And then you have some choices down here. You can auto play when presenting and you can mute the audio. So maybe you didn't want the audio to be playing. You have that option too. So if I go ahead, hit auto play here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and present this. And you can see down here, it started at the one minute mark and I told it to play for 10 seconds here. This is just a previous video that I made here and it should stop right there. So it gives you some neat control. I think it's a, an important update because before it really was just through linking to different videos or using YouTube. But now if you can put it in your drive, uh, you can really control your videos a lot more and holding uh, holding that information there. So I hope you like this tip today. I think it's an important tip, uh, a good tip to have with, the Google, uh, with your Google Slides. If you liked it, please share it with a few people. Uh, give it a thumbs up. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.